Today, we're going to talk about crypto art, NFT, what blockchain is, how to start, and a personal mistake I did with this one, and Bitcoin. In the physical world, we have paintings and art that we can buy and collect. We have thousands or millions of copies of Mona Lisa, but we always know which one is the original that holds all the value and we know who created it. But in the digital world, this cannot be possible. Art is get devaluated and copied around the world and it's very hard to find out who is the original creator of the art in order to give credit or even get paid. Well, that was true until now, but let's start from the beginning. So crypto art exists for a while now. I came across it a few months ago, I think it was around November or something, and it seemed really interesting. So the first thing that I did was to start researching about it. Maybe you don't know what blockchain is, but you have probably heard about Bitcoin. Bitcoin uses the blockchain to send money around the world, the same way that an app like Messenger will use the internet to send messages around. NFT stands for non-fungible token, we're going to talk about this in a moment, and crypto art uses cryptocurrency, um, specifically Ethereum, uh, it's a coin like Bitcoin, and this is very important. I actually saw online a very good example about how the transaction works. Let's say you want to send a digital photo to a friend through Messenger. You have the original photo on your phone. Then it's copied to Messenger, sent to your friend's Messenger, and then saved to his photo gallery. Uh, you can see the problem here. With just a simple transaction like this one, we have created it four different copies of the original photo. Let's say now that we're using Ethereum, we have a digital token that we want to send to a friend. So it's going to leave our account, get verified, and then travel to our friend's account. This way we have zero copies. So basically now, if we attach our art to a digital token, like this one, then the person that holds this token is the person that owns the art piece. And because the token is unique, the art piece preserves its uniqueness and value and doesn't matter how many copies there are around in the internet. And you can always track back to who owns the art piece and who created it. For collectors, it means that they have a valid proof of ownership and they can now collect digital art and resell it in a higher price the same way that they will do with physical art. For digital creators it means that now they don't need to rely on clients to make a living, they can actually sell their digital art and we can always track back to them to give proper credit and not only they can sell their digital art, they are actually making a profit every time the art is resell to a new collector. And all of this technology can actually be used for music, photos, videos, podcasts, and even articles. And I know that it sounds a little bit weird right now, but we are just in the beginning. Imagine someone telling you to buy a Bitcoin in 2007. It will sound insane, but right now, it's a huge part of the economy. As I was saying, crypto art is around for a while now. I came across it a few months back and I thought that this is a really good idea. I should be more involved with it, make videos about it, and then I just waited. So now that more people are starting talking about it and there's more and more videos, I feel a little bit frustrated with myself because I didn't start immediately when I had the chance. I do this all the time, I get new ideas and then I'm really excited about doing them but I do nothing, I just wait and then someone else does um, start with them and I have that weird feeling. 
um, and I did the same thing actually with Bitcoin. Um, when I was thinking about buying Bitcoins, the value was around $100 and I talked with friends about you know, buying them, but again, I just waited and then it went to 300 and then 1K and 16K. Um, so yeah, and I did get involved before it went to 50K right now, but again, I feel like I'm late to the game. If you are like me, I get this weird feeling like I was there from the start, but I end up doing nothing in the end. So yeah, mental note to myself. Wait. Note to myself. Start, don't wait, and share it. And because I don't want this to happen to me again, I just exchanged some of my bitcoins for Ethereum. And I guess I will be into it for the next months, so I will share whatever happens. If you want to be updated and know what's happening, uh, feel free to subscribe, I guess, and hit the notification bell. Uh, it, it sounds weird to ask you to do that, but you know, if you want to. I want to remind you that this is not a financial advice. Always do your own research before you get into anything. And I don't want this video to be too much long, so I'm going to explain to you really quickly what you need to get started. But if you want me to do a more detailed video, let me know in the comments below and I will probably do a video about how to buy Ethereum, uh, how to get a wallet, how to get into the platforms, uh, what I personally did, how to buy and sell. Really roughly, in order to start, you will need a digital wallet, you will need to buy some Ethereum or exchange other coins you have for it, and then subscribe to a platform in order to start collecting or selling. I will have all the links in the description. The first three platforms actually are my favorite, but they're a little bit more premium. They have more known artists and the quality is actually better there, but this also means that it's harder for us as artists to get into those platforms and be accepted. There is a process involved. You need to send a video explaining why they should accept you and it could even take a year. So yeah, it's, it's harder. But I have also the other two platforms there that they are open for everyone. You can just get into it and start immediately. Uh, but yeah, the quality I think it's lower and you will find some weird stuff there. I would love to get into more details, so let me know if you're interested to that. So what do you think? Is crypto art here to stay? Will you get involved? Or is this just a trend? Oh, and one last tip I want to give you. To be honest, this works right now for people that are already famous and have um, a bigger following audience. They're making a lot of money. But if you're like me and this is not the case for you, don't worry. Stay focused on your work, build an authority around you, build an audience, and I'm sure we're going to succeed.